Eric, Dave, congratulations, gentlemen. You guys have solidified yourselves spots in our third and final round of this competition. Now, in this final round, we're going to be sending you guys back to your home forges to build yet another iconic weapon from Korean history. We're going to have you build this. The Woldo. The Waldo is a polearm weapon that has been wielded by Korean warriors since the 6th century. The large crescent blade provided the user with incredible force that delivered lethal blows and deep cuts with one swing into an opponent. Historically, this heavy weapon required special skills and was only wielded in battle by elite Korean warriors. Today, Korean martial artists who specialize in the Waldo perform intricate maneuvers with this intimidating weapon at festivals and cultural events. All right, gentlemen, we're giving you four days to build your Waldo swords, and I want to see your best work because one of them will be worth $10,000. We'll see you in four days. My name is Eric Hemker. I'm 29 years old, and I'm a design engineer. I design seat structures for cars, and it's very important because if that person's not comfortable, they're not going to buy that car. Same thing goes for a knife. If that is not comfortable, they're not going to wield that knife. There we go. The world is in good shape. I got plenty of meat on there that I can grind back and get to the shape I'm looking for. That is a hard blade. Overall, good quench. So I decided as a little decorative embellishment to add a little grip to the handle. I'm going to flute and inlay some paracord. I'm using imperial red and royal blue to honor the colors of the Korean flag. So I'm pleased. My name is Dave Armour, and I am from Auburn, Illinois. I got into bladesmithing when I was 15. I went to a theme park where they had a gun and knife shop, and a man was demonstrating how to make a knife. I, being 15 and just being fascinated, I followed him into his shop and asked so many questions. He literally took a book on knife making that was for sale, threw it at me and said, get the hell out of the shop. I may have ruined this early on. I forged the piece over, so actually the top part is actually folding over on itself. It's called a cold shut. It causes all kinds of problems later on because the pieces aren't attached. I go over the grinder. If I can grind out, I'm not too bad. So right now it's just back to the grinder. Good news is everything's solid. The cold shut I was worried about is grinding out. I have a blade ready to heat treat. I'm straight. Yep, and it's hard. That's as good as I can hope for right now. So I grabbed some pink paracord that I'm gonna use to wrap the areas between the collars. And then I have a pink wood stain that I'm going to stain the hickory with. When I do a knife show, I always have one knife on my table that has a pink handle. It's not the typical looking thing, but I think it looks kind of neat, so I'm gonna go with it. I think this is a solid piece. I think it'll test well, but we're gonna see what happens. Bladesmiths, 안녕하세요, and welcome to the kill test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapons will do, I will take your weapons and deliver lethal blows on this ballistics dummy. Eric, you're up first. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Right, let's do this. All right, Eric, let's talk about your Waldo here. It is forward heavy. There's a lot of metal in here, but it is wieldable. Now, your edge is sharp. It penetrates deeply into this Belixis dummy, cutting the gel torso and into the bones. Overall, sir, your Waldo, it will kill. Thank you. All right, Dave, your turn, sir. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. All right, Dave, let's talk about your Waldo here. It is a, a little bit heavier than the other weapon. Heavier weapons require a lot of adjustments 
but your edge here is sharp. With this forward weight that cuts deep into this ballistic dummy and cuts the bones inside. But in doing so, sir, your edge over here did take a little bit of rolling. But the other parts are fine. And overall, sir, you're Waldo. You will kill. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time for the strength test. We're calling this one the Bamboo Man Attack. To test the overall construction of your blade, I'm going to take them and gently tap them against our Bamboo Man over here. <laughs> now, remember, this is not about what your weapons do to these targets. It's about what these targets do to your weapons. Eric, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. All right. So Eric, right off, this is a heavy beast. Your balance point's not bad. I kind of like that right there where you can manipulate the weapon. As far as the weapon performance goes, you maintain an edge all the way along. It's still sharp. Nicely done. Thank you. All right, Dave, you're up. Ready? Yes, sir. All right, Dave, your weapon is really, really heavy. So you can make a devastating cut, but recovery is, is really slow. As far as the blade, the blade itself is, is dented sideways here and up above here, but still solid. So you survived quite nicely. Well done, Dave. Thank you. Bladesmiths. This is the sharpness test, the sugarcane slice. To find out how sharp your weapons are, I'm gonna to attempt to cut through all these sugar canes. Unlike the strength test, this is all about what your weapons do and how well they cut the sugar canes. Eric, are you ready to do this? Yes, sir. All right, Eric, let's talk about your edge here. Your edge, it's sharp. It cut through all the sugar canes. And overall, sir, your weapon, it will cut. Thank you. Dave, it's your turn, sir. You ready for this? Yes, sir. All right, Dave, let's talk about your weapon here. It's still sharp, and it cuts cleanly all the way through, but the weight of your blade as I'm cutting dragged downward, and I ran out of sugar cane. But overall, sir, your weapon, it will cut. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, you both performed extremely well in our Korean theme challenge. Both your Waldos did great during our tests, but this is a competition, and there has to be a winner. The judges have made the decision and today's Forge and Fire champion is... Eric, congratulations. Now, Dave, you fought hard, but unfortunately, you're not today's winner, and Dave's gonna tell you why. Dave, your blade did great in the kill test and it did well in the sharpness test. What this came down to are two things, the overall weight of your blade and the damage it took in the strength test. Those are the reasons we're letting you go. I understand, thanks for having me. Well, Dave, it's clear you have what it takes to fight in this forge. You're an extremely talented smith. But unfortunately, your time in this competition has ended. And for that reason, I'm going to have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. Good job, man. Well, Eric, you know what that means. You are the newest Forge of Fire champion. You're going to be walking out of here with a check for $10,000. Congratulations. 
I feel awesome coming out here, winning the competition, having my skills validated. This is a crowning achievement of mine. Well done. Thank you. If somebody wants me to make a wall dough, it's gonna cost them 10 grand. <laughs>